Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world, then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him! Keep your horns on, Spyro! You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Uh... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. Spyro, press the jump button twice to glide. And... and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks? Plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. your worth by rescuing ten dragons, then you may use this balloon to fly to a new world. Again, 
The artisan's boss is through a portal in the dragon mouth. But you are not yet ready, Spyro. First, you must complete one of the other artisan lands. a hint on gliding. You bet! For the longest glide, press the jump button at the top of your jump, and try pressing the action button to drop down mid-flight.
when you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. After you've freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya! the dragonfly Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong, like me. Uh, sure. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Their metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them.
Pyro. Want to know a secret? Use the action button when you want to zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me. Big enemies like this Nork with the club cannot be charged, but a quick flame, that should defeat them.